It's Megan with Historical Home Rehab. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to repair a small hole in your drywall, just like this one. The first thing that I need to do is cut a piece of sheetrock that's bigger than my hole by like several inches in all four directions, just to give myself a manageable piece to work with. The next thing I'm gonna do is I have my little piece of sheetrock, and so what I need to do is mark the height and width of this hole. It doesn't have to be perfect. This hole isn't perfectly square, nor does it need to be for me to do this repair. So basically, I'm going to use my, my Sharpie, and on the back side of this sheetrock, I'm just gonna hold it up in the center of this side and just kind of eyeball where the two edges are and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the center on this side. Just kind of eyeball where those two edges are. Now I'm gonna take my square and line it up with each of these lines to score the drywall all the way across. The piece that I wanna keep is right here in the middle. So I need to break the drywall on all the scored lines. and then carefully peel it away from the front layer of paper. Sometimes this is easier said than done, but it still doesn't have to be perfect. going to want to do is you're going to want to take your patch and dry fit it before it gets real messy with mud and just see if you need to make any adjustments and if you do then you're going to make the adjustments on the wall and I'm just going to trim a little bit off of my multi-tool. slides in. Okay, so it doesn't matter if this is a little bit too small. It just needs to be able to slide in easily. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your drywall knife and um, some joint compound and you're going to put the joint compound inside the hole. Quite well, kind of on the edges of the hole on all four sides. And then I go ahead and put some around also. And I'm going to be floating this whole wall later, so it doesn't matter that I'm getting extra mud around the hole. You're going to also want to put mud on all four edges of your patch. Okay, at this point, it's basically like you're taping a seam. And so you're going to want to embed this paper into the mud, but you're gonna squish all the excess mud out from inside and um, just make sure that there's no air pockets or anything like that. Um, and you're gonna have to be careful because if you work this too much, it will rip.
Once your patch looks like this, it's time just to let it dry. Don't do anything else to it until everything underneath this is completely dry. At that point, then you treat it kind of like a drywall seam that you've taped and you just float over the top. In my case, I'm completely redoing my texture, so I'm gonna float over my entire wall and I'll just do this at the same time. But if you're not doing that, you're gonna to need to float this and either retexture, or if you have smooth walls, just float it and just blend it in. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful for you, please consider subscribing to my channel so that I can continue to make more beginner videos just like this one.